welcome back to my channel. My name's Melissa and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. And today we've got Body Shape Masterclass 17? 17. 17. Yeah. So that means there's a lot of other people that we've dressed um, live on the channel. So if Hannah's shape here doesn't resonate with you, then go back into our catalogue of videos and you will see others. But today you can see I am joined by Roz. Um, Roz is our senior stylist here, but also our colour specialist as well. Uh, which is a bit ironic, given that Hannah here wanted a neutral wardrobe. Important is a neutral wardrobe is still colour, and it's about yeah. how you use your neutrals as well. Yeah, so a lot of we get a lot of questions like what sort of white, or I can't wear yeah. cream, and things yeah. like that. So Roz is brilliant at giving you that sort of information. So we'll be talking you through the colour choice as we go along. But thank you, Hannah, for joining us thank today. You for me. <laughs> oh, I've never seen you shy. <laughs> 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 Hannah's usually really loud, but now we've got her in front of the camera, it's a different matter, isn't yeah. it? It's quite vulnerable standing here, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's different being on this side. <laughs> yeah, so Hannah is our photographer and photographer to many people out there. Give her a follow on Instagram. If ever you see any really nice photography um, of myself, it's always because Hannah has taken, <laughs> taken it. Um, but it's our time to make Hannah look really nice today by helping her in the clothes department. So Hannah, let's have a chat first of all and talk to you about what are you hoping to achieve from today and why you've been brave enough to come onto this channel? Yeah, so I feel like what I want in my clothes is, seems to be really hard to find because I want comfort. I love mm -hmm. clothes that just feel comfortable and easy to wear, but I also want to look put together. I like my neutrals, um, but what I kind of need it for is for work, so it has to be practical to be able to move around in it yeah um to be able to bend and get on the floor and not worry about rolls and things like that and then I've also got a three-year-old and a six-year-old so again practical with looking after them sure what sort of lifestyle split are we talking like are you at work five days a week three days a week yeah um customer facing I'm probably two to three days a week okay um but I love it when my clothes can also fit both elements so okay. um it would be nice to pick up the kids from school and not look like a slob as well yes yeah <laughs> yeah we, we all aim for that <laughs> <laughs> that should be the bare minimum yeah. after you've had a session with us so that bit I think is going to be ticked don't worry yeah okay and can we talk to the audience about your body shape here yeah. okay so talk to us first of all about your conscious areas where are they for you definitely my stomach um, that's, okay. that's the biggest thing really, that's what I'm always trying to hide and cover up. So she's always in big baggy stuff that makes you look bigger, Yeah. aren't you? And that's yeah. because you're just naturally trying to hide, but yeah. what we're going to show her today is that creating some sort of shape around her figure is actually going to make her look smaller but it's not always about making somebody look smaller it's if you look more in proportion yeah. you're going to feel better and that often people think that the only way they feel better is if they look smaller but it's not you'll feel better if you're in proportion Absolutely. won't you yeah. that's that's yeah. the key um so if we just have a quick look at hannah here you're lovely and tall aren't you how tall are you uh five seven five eight five seven five eight so i've got a little heel on just to give you how tall are you ros i'm five five and a half the half very important <laughs> yeah same here with five three so there you go give an idea so straight away her height makes a big difference because actually you can carry your frame off and much better because of that because you're a uk 18 yes is that right okay so obviously if she was my height and a uk 18 then she wouldn't look as long and lovely in proportion as she actually does so a height is her advantage this is her key hair area here and this is the area that she'd like us to, to, to disguise for her today. And this bit is really important. The only way you are going to make that bit look smaller is by making other parts look bigger. Because we can't actually do anything about that, meant in the nicest way. Not today. We can, yeah. we can slightly disguise, yeah. can't we? Yeah. We can layer up and things like that. But generally speaking, that is her conscious area. So, all we're going to try and do is put her figure back into an hourglass shape. So, if you all think about the hourglass shape, we need to broaden her shoulders here 
and probably let's have a look at you. Now, actually, you've got really good size, haven't you? So you have got shape across your thighs here, which is actually a huge advantage if you've got a stomach area. So her thighs are sticking out more than her stomach is, which is brilliant. So I bet you, Hannah, all we need to do is sharpen you up on the mm, shoulders, yeah. broaden them here, create an angle because you're quite rounded across your shoulder base here. Yeah. That line will then balance out the thighs here and everything in between will look smaller. We could also, I don't know what sort of bra you've got, have you got a t-shirt bra on? Yeah, nothing he bra, like it doesn't okay. do anything for me. <laughs> okay, so that is the other thing. If you um, wore something with more structure and made your boobs look bigger, yes. what's going to happen to your summer? That looks smaller. Exactly! <laughs> there we go. So give yourself a couple of Pamela Andersons and your stomach will go away straight away. Okay. And Hannah's also got amazing legs. Yes. I think that's a real key thing as well, just for sort of distracting away from the middle section and just balancing out. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we'll start to get her dressed, we'll bring her back and we'll talk about why we've done certain things. Okay, we have got her in this beautiful slip dress that looks black, but it's actually dark navy. That's probably half of why it's working really yeah, well. Yeah, I think so. And um, you like black, don't you? Yes. And it's always very important to know what the, the customer wants. Yeah. Um, and we've got some other black things that we're going to be styling later on. But dark midnight navy is a great alternative to black. And because of your softness and your soft colouring that you're um, attracting to, to yourself to wear, something like a midnight navy will do exactly the same as black, but in a much more flattering, softer way. Yeah. And in terms of the styling, so we think it gives her a beautiful silhouette from the front, but being honest with you, from the side, we're not so sure, are we? So do you yeah. mind just turning to the side just to see? So obviously it's going to cling around her conscious area like that. So the way in which you can wear this is to start layering. So Roz here has got a lovely khaki green jacket. This is just from Amazon. I showed it um, in the cream quite a few times. And it's lovely in this khaki green. We've used the toggles just to pull it in and just give it that little bit of shape. But now turn to the side for me. There we go. Can you see the stomach? Hopefully not. And so certainly- It's much more comfortable not having to worry about that, that, that area feels like it slims me down a little bit yes yeah and the type of thing a lot of people will, will say is um well how can i wear that dress on a summer's day and the answer is don't wear it on a summer's day that dress is for hannah to be worn on a day when layers are okay so not everything you have in your wardrobe is going to be usable for every single weather condition Okay, so it's all right that you always know you've got to put a layer with that one. Yep. Um, but you did say it was a little bit tight on the back, so um, possibly not for taking your photographs in. I actually think I could. You yeah. could. Oh, or with the jacket. Yeah, with a jacket. Yeah, with something else. I think. Yeah, yeah, so this, this great. <laughs> Ros has found a lovely jumper, so let's try that on as an alternative. Okay, so all Ros has done now is added a jumper. Yep. Simple yep. as that. And it totally changes up the feel of it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, totally does. Um, and that makes you feel a little bit more comfortable, does it? Yeah, this feels very me. Very you, good. So you can move in it, you yep. could run after the kids in it, so we could just swap the Birkenstocks for a trainer. That would look yep. really nice. Now, note here what we've done with the jumper. We've actually shortened the jumper. Now, this goes against a lot of what people who are conscious of their stomach area actually want to do. So most of you, yourself included, yeah. would have that jumper completely hanging out, wouldn't yeah. you? Okay, but when you actually shorten it, it actually halves the area of the stomach. When it's now, and I'm going to show you in a minute, you follow the line of your stomach, which makes your stomach look bigger. Yeah. Okay, so all we've done to shorten the jumper is we've put one of these elasticated belts on. They're just from Amazon. They're really inexpensive. And that will just hold that jumper in place. When we take that off, this is what's going to happen. So what that's going to do now, if you turn to the side, there we go, it's going to hang, but it's going to clip mm. over the tummy area, almost exaggerating what you've got. Mm -hmm. It's and, also and going to- losing your whole waist shaping. Yeah. 
just takes it, yeah, it sort of gives that always what feel. I do I think oh that mm. will hide it and you're totally right it completely makes me look bigger like bigger this, yeah. yes yeah. yeah like you know we can just do it here on camera it probably won't stick because of the belt but there we go there's the difference some things I just wanted to talk yeah. about the the dress as we mentioned earlier is navy the the jumper is ivory and black striped and a big myth that I get asked all the time is can you wear black and navy together and people feel that you can't but you can you definitely can it can look very sophisticated mm -hmm. and how we've made it work here is by linking it in with the black Birkenstock and then I'm just going to add this crossbody back which way do you go? I like, I like that way. way yeah and then that's tying all the bits of black in and showing that, it, you, that you're confident in wearing black and navy together. You can't even tell it's navy when you you've can't. got the black on because it's you such can't. a dark yeah. navy, isn't that? Yeah, isn't absolutely. It? But even yeah. if it were a lighter navy, you can wear black with it by doing something, doing something like that. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, I love so it. So two outfits out of the one dress. And we've got loads of things on the rail that we'll be showing everybody today that would also go, you could just layer up. So yeah. even just like a nice open shirt like yeah. you, you've got yeah, on now would look, look really good. nice. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, well, let's move on. Okay, so back again, the jumpsuit of which Hannah has just said it's... Yeah, it's really comfy this. Like, it feels like I'm wearing pyjamas, which is the aim in life for me. <laughs> The aim in life of wearing, like wearing pajamas, but looking but like you're put together. You're yeah. 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 Amazing. Absolutely. And again, another jumpsuit. We're trying to make yeah. it easy for you. You've got the kids to think about. You've got your job to think about. One yeah. piece outfit, really easy. Yeah. Uh, everyone always talks about on the comments about the fact that they couldn't wear a jumpsuit because going to the loo. But actually, this is really easy to get on and off, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Super easy. The worst thing is you're sitting there with, you know, just in your bra, and that can be a little bit uncomfortable, but when you're looking like that, it's worth it. Absolutely. <laughs> and it's just pull on, pull off. Yeah. There's no zips and all that kind of stuff, no. which can make it a bit faffy, but yeah. Exactly. I love that yeah. I could comfortably wear this sat at the computer editing and then just go straight to do the school pickup rather than yeah. editing in my pyjamas, which is what I usually do. Yeah, totally, totally. And the super comfy pockets. Yes. I think that just gives it that kind of yeah cool bag really really nice mm. the v-neck here we're showing more of a her neck area which is always very feminine um the color well over to you for the color it so yeah up, um khaki another soft neutral so there's another one that we were talking about that you wouldn't necessarily think was a neutral but absolutely is along with along with denim and charcoal gray and those kind of colors and it's soft and it pairs really well with other neutrals you've got the cardigan yeah which there. looks amazing. Yeah, so if we pop this on, so this cardigan is gorgeous. We're, we're all after this now in the office. So Hannah's wearing it in a size large, um, but I actually just tried it on. I think I'd go for a size medium in it as well. as well. It's got this beautiful collar, but what it actually does on the zip here, you can kind of, um, well, let me show you rather than tell you, you can actually do it up. So you could do it up like that, but you could open it as well, should you want to. So quite a few people are kind of styling it up a little yeah. bit more like that. I'm not sure if that's coming across on the camera or not, but it allows the continuation here of the green, which is further going to elongate her frame, but it's not actually showing off the stomach as such. Yeah. Yeah. It's just giving another extra layer. Um, do you want to just turn to the side a second? There we go. So you can't see anything there at all. Or obviously you can just wear it open as well. Really nice. But one thing I would encourage you all to do is when you have got a one piece item like this, you need to think about how am I going to finish it off? Because you would be stuck right now if it was a bit chillier out there because you think I've got nothing to go over that. So a jumper would work as just as well so you could just pop it mm -hmm. over and just see the trousers a cardigan in a neutral color what would ruin that now is if you went and put your black waterproof yeah. running around after kids type of coat on it yeah, yeah so keep all the colors soft and neutral yeah, no definitely yeah. it's just that whole blended comfortable look that that you're after but still looking effortlessly smart at the same time yeah. so yeah. definitely pulls and, that the bag. and then yeah. to add on the bag so tying in the the khaki color and also the flash of the black on the trainer and the black strap on the bag not only is it adding the sporty look but it's just pulling the whole outfit together yeah and what i like, love about 
about a cross bag is you can use it to then manipulate a heavier layer. So for example, if let's say that layer was like that and she was feeling a bit bulky, particularly mm. if you had a big chest, you might now be feeling broader on top and you would just manipulate the cardigan sort of behind your bag. And use like the bag that. to hold everything in yes, place. Yes, hold it yeah. all into, into place. But that looks lovely. It does. And you know, the yeah. other thing I just want to point out here that I've just noticed is you're mixing your metallics. And that's mm. another question. People are, you know, am I gold? Am I silver? And there is no rule. It's what you want to do. And if you want to mix your golds and silvers, then do it with confidence and conviction. So we've got gold jewellery. We've got a little bit of silver going on. We've got gold, um, uh, sorry, silver, silver metallics um, on the on the the bag and on the zip and it all works together because it's everywhere and is there a rule where it doesn't work where you can't mix it if you don't do it with conviction so i would say if you wear all gold and then just put that silver bag on it yeah. might look a little bit out of place right. and then you would want to tie you would want to tie that in that's why okay. i like the diamonds with the gold because again it's like the silver the and sil gold so it kind of mixes. yes you're doing that yeah. you're doing the mixing and yeah. saying this is who i am and i like mixing my my metallics and therefore it works yeah yeah really nice perfect for school run or yeah. for doing your photography yes, great definitely okay let's find her another outfit okay looking really nice and sophisticated but comfy absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. so this is what we call Sorry about the banging. My little boy is has finished school for, for the summer holiday and is making a go kart in the garage behind us. So I would go and stop him, but I think, do you know what? He's entertaining himself. Yeah. Uh, we've got to work, so we'll just leave him. So I apologise for that. Okay. So we were just saying, elevated loungewear. Mm. Really really super comfortable really as well comfy, yeah yes yeah. are amazing <laughs> they are amazing aren't they so let's just talk about these trousers a second they're from me and m me and m price point is usually very high and um these are 59 pounds i think is that right joe i'm looking were they 59 oh, pounds joe We'll have a look at that for you. But for me and M, it was a relatively good price. I know £59 is still a lot of money, but my point with these is that you can feel the quality, can't you? Yes. Um, and also, do you mind if we just show the waistband area just here? So what you've got going on here is a, almost like a yoga pant mm, yeah. waistband, isn't it? So that's helping to pull her in and probably make you feel quite secure. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. And it works to make them adjustable height-wise as well, yes. which is really great. So you can shorten and lengthen by, I think, seven inches. They, is that they right? Say, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't mm. even know that that yeah. was the reason. So mm. there's me just using it to pull ladies' stomachs in. Well, both. Both. <laughs> yeah. Both. Mm. yeah. Well, yeah. you say you're very long in the torso as yes, well and yeah. often you struggle with that um, rise don't yeah. you um but this is just beautiful so we haven't gone white here we've gone what do you call that it's like a oyster oyster, oyster kind of, yeah yeah mm. um this cardigan beautiful the gold here i think is just helping to elevate what it what that's doing here and where the metallic is right being gold is it's making it sophisticated. The camel is a, it's saying rich luxury and gold says that. So by teaming gold with camel, it's giving, it's, it's going with the warmth of the camel. And that's where just all gold is working in this situation. Yeah. Right. I think it's going beautifully with the hair as well. Perfect. It's talking about hair, yeah. like color and the hair, it all links it in, doesn't together. it? Yeah. There's often at the style in academy where we teach people how to become personal stylists. One of our rule is everyone needs a friend. So this is this notion where yeah. you wear two items of the same color at any one time to pull an outfit together. But often that item can be mm. your hair. It can, absolutely. It can be yeah. the caramel there in the hair, bringing in the tan, the gold. It's just all merging together just beautifully. And by keeping the top, top oyster rather than white is helping to do that and give a more sophisticated soft look as well. Yeah really nice. So let's keep this real. When are you wearing it? I would definitely wear this for work. These are really comfy. Yeah. Um, 
and yeah for editing at the computer picking up the kids playing with them everywhere even just lounging around the house okay beautiful great okay so that's ticked all those boxes we've put trainers on there's no reason why you couldn't stick a Birkenstock or a sandal but um, one thing I would say is when you are wearing an outfit like this which is a little bit more elevated you can then look a little bit dated if you choose the wrong footwear absolutely yeah. so if we put more of a dainty I don't know like a diamante type of flip yeah, yeah, with it yeah no you're gonna end up looking a bit too mumsy yeah, yeah. so keep it cool with either like a Birkenstock or a, a trainer like we've done here but yeah really really like that yeah, one love it love it it's coming home with you yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay we've got her legs out she's got great <laughs> legs so there's no reason why we shouldn't so looking fabulous in just tonal colours that, like you just said it's just really comfy and easy yeah. to wear isn't it yeah definitely yeah um the fact that she's got a jumper on with shorts i know a lot of you over in america will say that's not relevant because of that creates it's too hot for you but here in the uk we need exactly that don't we we always need this final layer which is still going to look good with shorts but equally underneath she's just got a white top on so there's no reason why she just can't wear the white top and the shorts and it'll look great yeah. But um, like I say, here in the UK, when people forget about this final jumper, when they're out and about, they might have just grabbed a, I don't know, yeah. a, a random coloured one, a spot one or something, and then it ruins the whole look. And I was saying this to Hannah earlier on, wasn't I, about your final piece. Yeah. So let's say I wake up in the morning and it's raining. The first piece that I start off with is the jacket, the raincoat that I want to wear. I don't start off with the main outfit. Yeah because that's what everybody's that's looking cool. at. And so if you know you're going into an environment where you're going to need a jumper, you start with the jumper and then you work down that way. And you could always throw the jumper over your shoulders. Yeah, I was just thinking it yeah. It's quite a nice extra layering piece to an outfit so it's not just a t-shirt and a pair of shorts, yeah. even if you're not wearing it. Yeah. We spend quite a lot of time at the beach, so it's always handy just to have that extra layer, which I think that looks really yeah. nice together. Yeah. yeah, really nice. And the good thing to say about these shorts is that we've also got you the longer trouser in them as well. Yeah. So literally she doesn't have to think about it. If the weather isn't so good, she just puts the longer trouser on. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. Just simple, easy, everyday styling, but looks all put together. Okay, so a really simple, quick change now. We just wanted to show you how you can elevate a pair of shorts really easily. So we've just got this beautiful waistcoat from Marks and Spencers. And I think the accessories play a really key role mm, here absolutely. as well, don't they? So we've got the sunglasses on the top of the head. The same bag. How many times have we used that now? Gosh, at least five, I would say. You know, yeah. It's been a popular one today, hasn't it? It has, and it just shows you. It's kind of like a greeny colour, but that colour has gone with all the neutral mm. tones that Hannah requested. Where it's not an obvious colour to buy a bag yeah, in no. at all, is it? Most people would go brown or black. But actually, a solid black one and a solid brown one with this wardrobe just wouldn't have gone as easily. Um, that's Claire, our other senior stylist. Um, yeah. So we need to credit her for getting us that one. Okay, so let's try something else. So just showing you now that these are the trousers in the same fabric as the shorts. So it's great to buy that mix and match at the same time to give you more versatility in your wardrobe. Changed up the shoes. That was just to bring in the black, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. The just tying in a little black detail on the black on the bag with the with the shoe, and then adding a black sunglass rather than the tortoise shell we had before. Just pulling an outfit together all the time. Yeah, and there's absolutely no reason why we couldn't have put the green jumper that we started off with yeah. with the shorts with that outfit as well. So um, it also comes with a blazer. Mm. This outfit does, but it was from River Island, and if you do buy it, you need to go down by about two sizes because it was your mum. Really big, yeah. So next we've got what Ros has just summarised as a timeless classic mm, outfit yeah. and it just shows that at 31 years of age or 47 for myself 54 what, for 50, me 54 <laughs> you look great for 54 I've only just found out Ross's age I don't know why I never knew that I think I just always assumed she was my age because you always That's very lovely. yeah you always look so young and everything but it just shows this is just timeless classic so we've got on a cargo pant but in like it's like a jogging yeah uh, like a heavier stretchy. joggy stretchy fabric so I'm yeah. assuming it's really comfy it is yeah mm. yeah really comfy um 
the pockets here a lot of people ask me if they've got more shapely thighs of which Hannah has actually got a really nice shape around her thighs is it going to add volume to the thigh area and it usually depends on where the pocket is placed mm. but for myself for example right there is my wider part so I would avoid a really heavy extra one right there but actually just slightly lower down on my thigh area means that it would make my wider part of my thigh merge in mm. a little bit better mm. so it helps follow the shape down so it actually can be an advantage but from your point of view, you don't need to worry about that, but that's great for picking up leather. They are, they are, <laughs> they are perfectly placed, uh, yeah. these ones, for, for that. Yeah. And the weight of the fabric, because it's that thick, heavy Pontaroma jersey, mm -hmm. um, it, you know, it's pu pulling down the, um, the legs of the trouser into that lovely white leg, which yeah, is so flattering. Yeah, it's really nice. Mm. And we've teamed it with a cashmere jumper. You're boiling hot right now, aren't you? <laughs> so am I, if it helps. We're both in cashmere. My jumper is from Lily Silk, by the way, and so are my white trousers. This one is from... Marks and Spencer's. Marks and Spencer's, yeah. yeah. Mm. The benefit here, you've obviously got the zip down, so we could have this open. So you could just have a neutral top underneath, or you can wear it like a jumper, like you're doing really nice. But I think the texture between the cashmere and the jogging style yeah. pant, the juxtaposition. Casual deluxe. Casual deluxe, I like that. Mm. Elevated loungewear yeah. is what yeah. I say, but I like that. Casual <laughs> deluxe. So really practical, where are we wearing it? Anywhere really. I can be with the kids and be comfortable lounging around at home. When I, I quite like when I have friends come over to the house. I'm still comfortable, but I'm looking a bit more put together. Yeah, I agree. Okay. And you'll notice that I ask that question of a lot of my clients standing here. When is it relevant? Because it's really easy, isn't it, to get carried away and put on these lovely new outfits you know sparkly new things to try but then forgetting about well actually where will I wear it and that is the most important mm. part of styling to always ask yourself when am I going to wear it and also it's to invest in these comfy mm. clothes yes because how often would you That's go out it. like I like to wear comfy clothes 90% of the time so it makes sense to invest my money in like cashmere and things like that, that yeah will. Yeah. Totally, that will make you feel nice on a daily basis. Yeah. And then I think, where are you going to wear it? And on top of that, how many different ways am I going to be able to wear it? Yeah. Especially with an investment piece with something like cashmere, you want to be able to wear that piece with as many different of your other clothes as possible and create multiple outfits too, Yeah. which yeah. you could with this one. And I think perhaps just even showing the difference here, we've both yeah. got a cashmere yeah. jumper on, but I've gone for a more of a tailored silky pant with it, yeah. and it works just as well as as it would with the jogging pants so yeah, yeah we've, we've proven a point quite well here together. I just noticed I was picking this up and the reason um, being is because of the zip is heavy but you could just pin that up to hold that in or half tuck it into the top of your trousers to secure that. Yeah, yeah. or if you were feeling bulky around there just open the zip up and put something underneath just like a top like Ros has got on yeah. right now that would look really nice. Open. Okay next one for you. Okay so next up we've got two black dresses to show you. You're loving both of them, aren't yeah. you? Because we've just had both of them on. Um, but what I'm very conscious of sort of uh, showing you is that what we don't want to do is put her just in a black dress that just covers and hides everything. It's that thing that everybody does, the thing, I don't know what to wear, I'll just wear black and I'll cover myself all up in it and it's almost, it's the worst thing that you can do yes, almost, isn't it? Yes, it is, it is. But we do appreciate that some of you both like black and want to wear black as well. So the type of thing that we look for to improve this overall look is things like this has got a split at the side so it's just showing that little bit of flash of legs that's going to help break up the blackness on this particular one obviously her arms are showing but just as importantly is this tie that's happening around here that's giving her shape isn't it it's sort of pulling you in because if we just let that go it just kind of hangs and becomes a bit bleh. But when we do this, it does also make it look a little bit more elevated than perhaps your lifestyle requires. And it knits you in at the waist so beautifully. Mm. It yes. um, gives it such a, um, a lovely shape to it. Yeah. yeah. But Ros is going to show you how it's really easily sort of dressed down, really, by that just could be, That on. could be super dressy as it is. And yeah. then just by adding a long line shirt, again, you're adding that length to the outfit. Okay. 
and creating that one band of um, dark colour right with the way through the middle and tying it in with a shoe and ah. instantly you've got a more Sorry, I was starting to interrupt yeah. you there, but you've but just done what, so this is, this yes, is what I Hannah just did. did. <laughs> no, Hannah just went <laughs> like, like that, and then you instantly opened her up, and that's what I was about to interrupt you to, yeah. say, to say, Hannah, that's what you can't do, because doing that yeah. creates that, that, creates that yeah. sort of big square um, look. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've given like you... muscle memory. It's just, it is yeah. muscle memory. Well, forget that muscle memory. Open it up because then we can see your figure and you actually look a lot smaller doing that. Yeah. It's worth notice, okay. noticing that this shirt actually goes with the shorts and the trousers that we've just shown. So yeah. it really is a complete set. Yeah, there's this <laughs> shirt over the... You're filling it in again. Uh, the shirt over the, the linen shorts with a little white vest underneath would be a, yeah. a more lighter weight way of wearing those as well. What yeah. about tying it as well? How would you feel about something like this it depends whether you kind of like the style or not you could uh, yeah you need to yeah, lose the, you could tie the tie of the dress to the back to the back so you have got two, tie. two ties mm. so there's a mirror there you yeah. can have a look in and that one yeah that's nice actually yeah, you'd wear yeah. something like yeah, that? I would. There we go. So that's another alternative way of wearing it. But putting the lighter shirt and the lighter shoes with it is better than adding on a further black layer, yeah, isn't absolutely. it? Especially in the summer months, because you want to lighten that up. But let's have a look at the second black dress that we've got for her. Okay, so the second black dress is this gorgeous one from me and M. What has it got? Pockets. It's got pockets. We <laughs> love a pocket. That's what me and M do really do. well, yeah. don't they? Always a pocket. Always a pocket. And it makes a difference. It makes it feel more luxury and more elevated mm -hmm. because all it is is a cotton black dress. Um, we have added in a shoulder pad here just because we felt the roundness was coming back again on her shoulder. We've yeah. added the bag in here again just to split that black up, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Just to lighten it a little bit. But if you just turn around to the back a little bit, you can't tell it very much, but there's actually a gap here. Um, so if I hired that up, you'd obviously see a strip of her flesh there. So that just helps to break things up from behind as well. We've kept it cooler with a stronger, more up-to-date type of trendy shoe on with it. And yeah, you're really comfy in that one, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, it's really comfy. It's very can, nice. I can see you. Yeah, very practical. You Especially can, with kids, I don't like to wear dresses that are short because you're always crouching down and stuff. So yeah. this is great. Yeah, really, and the really sporty nice. shoe and the bag tie in together so yeah. that casualises it for you. And the other yeah. thing we did was we put a trainer on with it originally to yeah. give a more relaxed feel, but it shortened your leg. Mm -hmm. And what something like a sandal does just by showing the skin, it just lengthens and finishes yeah. off that long line silhouette that we're creating. Yeah. Really nice, really practical, easy one to wear. Yeah, good for work as well. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I think we've got one more outfit for you, so let's put that on for you now. Okay, so we're just having discussions here of whether she looks a bit like a flasher. <laughs> <laughs> With a, with a mag, it always has that connotation, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but we think she looks really cool, particularly with the hat on. But the hat, you just say, might be that one step too far for you. Yeah, I, I think it looks really cool on other people. I just, I don't know, maybe I'd get used to it. Yeah, well, this is, this is yeah. you know, this is where your own personality comes into it here. Yeah. It might be that step too much, or it might be that we take the bag away, but it's these building blocks here that changes the look of an, of an outfit. Yeah. So, um, can you take your hat off just yeah. for a moment? Do you want to just take a moment to... There we go. <laughs> okay, so there's the look yeah. without it. So it almost changes it instantly. Yeah. You know, this is a very youthful look, isn't it? That's a lovely Anning Bing um, cat, by the way. But we picked that one because the tones went really well with the Mac as well. But um, what else have we done colour-wise? We've just colour blocked in the middle there. Yeah, so we? it's all, all neutrals. We've got um, navy back with the dark blue or mid blue denim jean, and that's creating that one long line in between. So it's the like the skinny me under with the Mac over the top and then the neutrals tying together they all work because they're the same type of neutral so the um, as Melissa mentioned the cool um, neutral hat is the same as the cool neutral 
um, mac rather than it being more of a sort of warm camely mac and then the two would jar so it's mm. pulling neutrals together in this fabulous outfit and yeah. the long line as a mac just gives such a sort of wafty lengthening elegant feel i think yeah, yeah. really nice but practical as well for a rainy day yeah. and then looking back at all the other clothes that we've had so far you could put the stripy blue and white jumper with that you could put mm. the um the zipped up hoodie the cashmere jumper yeah. anything really the whole point of all of this is that it all um mixes and matches together so yeah very nice so thank you very much for watching today. We really appreciate it. That was Body Shape Masterclass 17. So please do look at our other videos if Hannah's body doesn't relate to yourself because we've dressed everybody on this channel so far. Head over to Instagram as well if you want to see more daily advice on how to balance your figure out or just outfit inspiration. And remember that you can book myself or Roz. I know Roz has some availability because we've just created some more space in her diary and um, she's amazing on color but obviously on style as well so the details of how you can book her and that's internationally or face-to-face -face, shopping trips wardrobe restyles whatever but the details will be under where the title plays or just go to our website I'll put the details underneath for that thank you again and I will see you again next week where we are coming to you from John Lewis and we have another body shape masterclass for you bye